Hi, everyone, and welcome back to Organic Chemistry on YouTube. Today, we're going to be talking about glycol synthesis, and this involves the acid-promoted ring opening of epoxides. So here are the basics. First of all, epoxides are strained three-membered rings that look like this. Um, acid helps to promote the ring opening. We'll be discussing exactly how that works in the mechanism part of this. And what you ultimately produce is a diol, also known as a glycol. So the word diol is di for two and all for alcohol. So before we talk about the mechanism, let me just show you a potential synthesis of this uh, epoxide compound. Suppose you started with an alkene and reacted this with MCPBA, a well-known epoxidizing agent. You end up with this compound here. Now this can undergo the ring opening reaction with something like, um, how about hydrochloric acid in water? Remember, you need the water to be the solvent so hydrochloric acid can fully dissociate. And this gives the following product. Notice the anti-addition. All right, so let's, um, let's, let's do this mechanism. So first of all, if you're starting with this epoxide, the first step when it reacts with hydrochloric acid and water, between the two, this is the more reactive reagents. So seeing the Lewis basic site on the epoxide will deprotonate the hydrochloric acid with these arrows. And this leads to this structure here. Now, having that positive charge on the oxygen helps to promote um, this reaction. So what can happen is uh, we can have the um, water as the nucleophile attack the less substituted position. Okay, and then you have this protonated alcohol, which can then be deprotonated by water to regenerate the catalyst. And that forms the product. Okay, and some questions you might wanna ask in office hour. One, what kind of acid will promote this reaction? Here we've used a very strong acid, but could a weaker acid be used? How about a stronger acid? Two, will this work with base? If we started with the epoxide and added, say, sodium hydroxide, would this reaction work? Three, why are epoxides formed if they're strained in the first place? So the first step of my synthesis involved a, an addition of MCPBA in the presence of that alkene. And you can ask your instructor to, to explain this. Well, that's been Organic Chemistry in five minutes or less. Thanks for tuning in.